Do you want to know what phrases you can use to describe how you're managing your hair or what you're doing with it, specifically in the Arabic, Levantine, and Jordanian dialect? If so, keep watching. This video is definitely for you. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Speaking Arabic using the spoken Jordanian dialect. Today's episode is the second part of a two-part series covering all about the hair. Today we'll be covering phrases that we use in the context of hair in the Arabic Levantine dialect. But before we start, make sure that you hit subscribe, the bell notification button, and like this video for more daily content like this. And with that, let's get started. Yalla. This two-part series first started with vocabulary and then ends with the conversational Arabic for practical tips. In the first part, we covered all of these terms and I included the link of this episode in the description box below for you to review. However, today is all about phrases. We will learn phrases on how to do different things with our hair from washing it, drying it, styling it, shaving it, tying it, braiding it, and so forth. Let's start with our first phrase, and that is, I wash my hair. Ana baghsil shari. Ana baghsil shari. Another way to say I wash my hair is, Ana bahammim shari. All right, next is, I comb my hair. Ana bamashit shari. Ana bamashit shari. I shave my head. Ana bahlik rasi. I shave my beard. Ana bahlik lihiti. And I shave my mustache. Ana bahlik shawarbi. And if we say, I need to shave, Ana lazim ahle. Great, let's talk about cutting now. I cut my hair, Ana baus shari. But if you say, I need a haircut, Ana lazimni asit shar. Now, braids. Guys, do you remember that braid is jadule, jadule? And the plural form for braids are jadayel, jadayel. All right, back to phrases. I braid my hair. Ana bajadil shari. Great. Bun. We said it was kake, kake. Now for phrases, when we say, I put up my hair in a bun, ana barfa shari bikake. And when we say, I tie up my hair, ana barbut shari. Notice, rabat comes with rabta, and that's the hair tie. Now, I part my hair, ana bafrit shari. When we say, I part my hair in the middle, ana bafrit shari al wasat. And when I part my hair on the right, Ana Bafrit Shari Al Yamin. And lastly, I part my hair on the left, Ana Bafrit Shari Al Ishmal. Excellent. Remember, we said scalp was Jildit al Ras. Jildit al Ras. So when we say my scalp itches, جلدت راسي بتحك. That's another phrase. All right, another one is I use the hair dryer for my hair. أنا بسشور شعري. 
أنا بسشور شعري. And I straighten my hair. أنا بسحب شعري. أنا بسحب شعري. So when you straighten, أنت بتسحبه. It's the same word for pulling as well. When we say I fix my hair, أنا بضبط شعري. And my hair is messy. شعري مبربش. That's a funny word. مبربش. Messy. All right, let's talk about hair dye. Hair dye is صبغة. صبغة. And the plural form for hair dyes, صبغات. صبغات. Now let's dive into phrases. I color my hair, aka with a dye. أنا بصبغ شعري. أنا بصبغ شعري. Now let's dive into some hair accessories. I got some questions on that one. Remember we said a hair tie is ربطة شعر. ربطة شعر. And a hair tie can also be called مغيطة. مغيطة, which literally translates to rubber band. A hair bow, شبرة. شبرة. And a headband, طو. طو. A bobby pin, pince. Pince. And a barrette clip. Bucle. Bucle. The last one I have is a plastic clip, and that is Malat Shair. Malat Shair. All right, you guys, it's time to review. Yellow. I wash. Ana Barcel. Or, Ana Bahamem. I part, Ana Bafrit. I straighten, Ana Bashab. And I shave, Ana Bahlit. I fix, Ana Bazabit. I comb, Ana Bamashit. And I brush too, we would say, Ana Bamashit. I cut, Ana Baos. And I dye, أنا بصبغ. I braid, أنا بجدل. I use the hair dryer, أنا بسشور. I style, أنا بسرح. I put up, أنا برفع. And messy, مبربش. A hair clip, ملقط شعر. A barrette, بوكلي. Bobby pin, pince. Hair tie, rapta. Hair bow, shabara. All right, guys. The rest of the terms are covered in part one. Don't forget to check it out. The link is in the description below. And I wanted to close with the expression tip that I love to use when it comes to hair. Naiman, naiman. You can never go wrong saying that. And like we said before, you say Naiman if someone does anything to their hair. Brush it, cut it, style it, color it. Or you can even say it if they wash it. So after a bath, you tell someone Naiman. And this concludes today's episode, part two of All About the Hair. Congratulations, you have completed today's lesson. Guys, if you haven't yet done so, make sure that you hit subscribe, the bell notification button, and like this video for more daily content like this, and I will see you tomorrow with a new topic. Keep practicing!